Stevenson falls to York tonight 2-1 here at Mustang Stadium. Glenn Clark with head coach Graham Miller. Coach, obviously a tale of two halves tonight. What what turn, what changed in the second half that they came to life? Yeah, i got to give all credit to uh, York. I mean, I think we could have put the game to bed in the first half. I mean, 14 shots to two. You know, really outstanding. I mean, the first 45 minutes from us, and I know we've talked about this before, you know, our slow start sometimes have kind of shot ourselves in the foot. But, man, what a first half. Really impressed with the first half. Told the guys that. Just had to keep doing what we're doing. And then the second half, yeah, it's a mystery to us as coaches. Um, I mean, they deserved it. I mean, all credit to York for what they've been through um, over the last couple of weeks. Their players, I mean, their players did not give up. Their players showed so much energy second half. Evan's a good man, the head coach, good friends with him. And, and for them to come out here, you know, after what they've went through, all credit to them. So we can't take it away. I mean, they won the game, um, and, you know, and they just, they just, I mean, they just outfought us second half and created so many more chances than we did. And, you know, they put theirs away and we didn't. So that's it. How do you, how do you get yourself up out of this lull, right? And like a couple of games where you've, where you've outshot your opponents but don't have anything to show for it. And you're coming into the most critical part of the season trying to get your way into the MAC Commonwealth Tournament. What do you do to have these guys pick themselves up and finish strong? Well, you know, it all comes from us as coaches. You know, we got to keep them going. We're the ones that, you know, we're the ones that put the line up out there. We're the ones that run the practices. You know, Saturday was the same thing against Widener. You know, we sh we could have scored after 17 seconds when Eddie hit the post. We missed the PK, and then they go up the other end, second half, the same thing, and, and we're down two nothing. So. Last two games, we've played really well in the first 45, which wasn't the story at the start of the season. So we're, we're, we as coaches need to figure out, OK, we've got the first half done. Let's get back to playing a better second half like we did, you know, earlier in the year. Uh, the other thing that jumped out at me tonight, you mentioned, you know, what you guys could have had. They also could have had a few more. I thought oh, Nolan yeah. was really spectacular in the second, despite the two that you guys gave up. Boy, it really seemed like Nolan, he looked like a veteran tonight making some huge saves. Yeah, we've got, you know, the two keepers are battling it out, you know, him and uh, senior Christian Slaby. I mean, they're battling it every practice, every game. So Nolan did, did, did well. I mean, he didn't look like a freshman out there tonight. He's uh, He's got a lot of confidence and and he was ready and, and you know it's unfortunate for him to take the loss with how many saves he made and coming for the crosses was was crucial at key times and and getting those balls off the corner so unlucky for him and uh, we'll keep working with him he's only a first year and uh, high hopes for him and i know uh, christian slaby is keeps pushing him hard and, and we just have extended goalkeepers that are really fighting for that spot All right, coach appreciate it we will see you back here on saturday yep looking forward to it see you later glenn he's graham miller i'm glenn clark go mustangsports.com